hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in um, today's DIY is inspired by Chanel's cruise 2019-2020 collection but in my usual fashion I am going to be using Ankara fabric to make my own unique stuff because that's what we do up in here I hope you also find inspiration from this tutorial and you'll make yours as well if you liked this video please like share with your friends and subscribe to my channel to enjoy more sewing tutorials like this materials I'll be using are the regular sewing supplies and of course my beautiful Ankara fabric which I absolutely absolutely love however it's just a small piece it's not even up to one yard it's like 46 inches by 46 inches so if you're a size 10 like me this amount is perfect for you the first thing I do is to fold the fabric in half and measure a knack 24 inches my front waistline measurement is 16 and 8 inches will serve as the facing inside now I'm going to cut out the 8 inches that I reserved for the facing. I'm going to cut out the straps, which are 16 inches long and 2 inches wide. To make the straps, fold in half wrong sides facing together and close this with a straight stitch. I use the small safety pin to turn it to the right side. It is important to press, it makes it lay flat and looks neat. Moving back to the top, place the facing and the main fabric right sides together, find the midpoint and on both sides mark 5 inches away from the midpoint. From the 5 inch mark, mark 8 inches which is my arm size measurement. Place the straps in between the facing and the main fabric, in between the 5 inch point and 8 inch point and then pin together, ensuring that the straps are straight and not tangled inside. Pin the rest of the fabric together and sew the straight stitch at the top only. Turn to the right side and press the seam. You can also top stitch as well. Create the center back seam by bringing both ends together and pin. At this point, ensure that you have hemmed the facing. I drew a straight line, which will be the reference line on both sides, which I lined with the edge of the back strap. Afterwards, I split this line with three quarter of an inch gap in between. You can make yours half an inch, but I thought three and a half would be perfect. Connect these lines together. These will be guidelines for sewing. Thread an empty bobbin with elastic thread by winding by hand. Pull this lightly but not too tight as you wind the thread around the bobbin. Sharing is actually easy. I set my tension at 7 which was just right, not too tight and not too loose, and a stitch length of 4 which is the longest stitch length on my machine. Do a couple of trials and scrap fabric to get the right setting for your machine. I love how the sharing came out and I hope at this point you subscribe to my channel to learn how to sew. To create a sweetheart neckline and to contour the boob region a little bit, mark the center front. Draw a 6 inch line on the center front. Take it to your sewing machine and sew with elastic thread to gather it upwards. I ended up with 3 lines, one line on either side of the center front. 
so the top is practically done the only thing left is the bow to make the bow I cut out a piece of fabric measuring 25 inches by 16 inches fold this over on the longest side and sew with a straight stitch after sewing Turn to the right side and join the short sides together and sew with a straight stitch. To make the rope, I cut out fabric that was 4 inches wide and approximately 16 inches long. Fold over to the wrong side and close out the sides with a straight stitch, but leave about 2 inches at the top to turn it to the right side. I then use a pencil to turn it over and also to poke out all the edges. The final piece to cut will be used to assemble the bow tie. It's a small rectangular piece measuring 3 inches by 6 inches. I sewed it into a strap and turned it to the right side. To finish the bow, take a threaded hand needle and sew running stitches along the center. Pull together at the center and wrap thread around it a few times and then tuck it. Place the tie in between the bow and hold it in place by wrapping the small strap around it. Hold this by tucking with a hand needle as well. Finally, attach the bow to the front of the crop top by sewing with a hand needle. And that's it guys, my Chanel inspired bow tie crop top is done and I absolutely love it. It's very simple and it's perfect for the summer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do give it a try, it's very easy if you get the measurements right. That's all for today. Do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.